Like, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. That's the reaction from people living in a central Kentucky neighborhood after a man is arrested for raping a woman nearby. Lexington police are searching for a gunman who opened fire on a house. Clear and calm, but very cold. That's how we're ending 2014. We'll talk about the potential to get a little on the ugly side as 2015 arrives in a moment. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 4. Welcome to WKYT News at 4. I'm Amber Philpott. Happy New Year's Eve to you. 2014 is ending on a clear and cold note, and that is exactly how the new year will begin. This is a live look of downtown Lexington where you can see those clear and sunny skies out there. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Not a bad way to end of the year. No, not at all, Amber. And you know what? That's actually good news for the party goers out there uh, throughout the land. Have no travel troubles. Yes, it is going to be a frigid start to the the new year, but again, it could be a whole lot worse. Here's how things are looking on the east side of Lexington toward Hamburg Pavilion. 29 degrees in Lexington. Feels like it is 21, though, on a gusty wind at around 8 miles per hour. Look at the humidity. It is bone dry, and the air is actually getting drier, and that spells a very rapid drop in your thermometer. As soon as the sun sets, also, kiddos, you can uh, kind of rough your foot on the uh, carpet, go up, touch someone's ear. You're going to get a little shock factor going on with all that dry air that is in place. Life First Alert Defender, nothing is out there. A little cloud cover into extreme southeastern Kentucky. That New Year's Eve forecast, though, hey, we warned you about a quick temperature drop. Look at how things are. Trending by midnight into the upper teens already as the new year starts out on a very, very cold note. How do we look, though, for the weather headlines in the first few days? Well, we know it starts cold. Watching the weekend, Amber, for the potential for a little bit of ugly to show up. And speaking of showing up, Arctic Air does that in your seven day forecast when I come back in a little over 10 minutes. Chris, thank you. A central Kentucky man is in jail accused of sexually abusing a woman. Richmond police charged Thomas Simmons with rape. The victim told police she was walking home early Sunday morning when Simmons came up to her. That's when their conversation quickly turned violent. WKYT's Jerrica Insko has the latest on the investigation. It's our top story at four. Hearing of a reported rape in this Richmond neighborhood is unsettling for just about everyone, but especially for the people. Who live here. Early Sunday morning, that's when Richmond police say 48 year old Thomas Simmons beat and raped a woman. It was before 5 a.m. when a woman called police saying she was walking along East Main Street when Simmons approached her. The woman's conversation with Simmons quickly turned violent when police say he grabbed her and punched her in the face, forcing her behind an apartment building on South Fairview. Yeah, I was just like, oh my God, like I, I did not expect to hear that. Like, it's really crazy for something to have happened just this close to my friend's apartment. Like, this is insane. People who live there are shocked. No one heard or saw anything, even at that time when it's still dark. I've never heard of a, a raping happening like anywhere in this area. Police tell us Simmons was arrested at his home shortly after the assault and is charged with first degree rape. In Richmond, Jerrica Insko, WKYT. Thomas Simmons is in the Madison County Detention Center. He declined our request for an interview from jail. A Lexington woman and four children had to dodge bullets in their own home last night. Police say they're looking for the person who fired the shots into the home on Honey Jay Court. Dominique Coffey says the shooter fired five to eight times. She had a nine month old, two two year olds, and a 17 year old in the home with her at the time. Coming up on WKYT News at five, you'll hear from the mother who says she thinks she knows who shot at her home. We are working on a number of other stories for you on WKYT starting at 430. Sam Dick joins us now from the newsroom with a look at some of the news in progress. Hello, Sam. Good afternoon, Amber. The family is starting over this afternoon after losing just about everything in a fire. It started about 4.15 this morning on Main Street in downtown Livingston, which is in Rockcastle County. The family was not home at the time. We're told that they began staying with family members after their water heater stopped working a few days ago. Firefighters had to fight the flames and below freezing temperatures. You'll hear from some of those firefighters and we'll have the latest on the investigation on WKYT News at 4.30. 
We were on track to have fewer traffic deaths in the bluegrass this year compared to last year. Unfortunately, a recent surge in deadly crashes has pushed the total much higher. This year, as of today, there have been 661 deaths. Police say people in most of those fatal crashes this year were not wearing their seatbelt. But coming up on WKYT News at 5, we'll tell you why the roads are still safer than in years past. And we'll take a look at the Associated Press's list of biggest stories of 2014 for Kentucky. Members of the media compiled the list that includes everything from Kentucky's quest for a ninth national basketball championship ending after falling short to Connecticut to the car-swallowing sinkhole at the National Corvette Museum in Bowling Green. We'll tell you which story landed the top spot on WKYT News at 5 o'clock. And that's a look at some of the news in progress. Amber, back to you. Sam, thank you. Now to some stories making headlines across the nation at four. The party of the year is already getting started in the heart of Manhattan. Hundreds of thousands of people are streaming in to watch the ball drop over Times Square and to turn the page on a new year. Chris Van Cleve is in the middle of all the action. The crowd in New York City's Times Square started growing early on New Year's Eve despite frigid temperatures. People filled the streets. Some arrived soon after dawn to secure the perfect spot. For this New Jersey mother and daughter, it's an item off their bucket list. This is just so exciting. Yeah. It's the energy. It's awesome. So really can't wait. At the center of the country's biggest block party is the famous Crystal Ball. Its midnight descent marks the start of 2015. It's a new beginning for me, um, and I figured what a better way to start it out than watching the ball drop in Times Square. As Times Square fills to capacity, police are shutting down streets, and all organizers expect about a million people to show up. Anna Weinert is here from Germany. Do they have anything like this in Germany? No. No, not like this. <laughs> While police say there are no specific threats against the New Year's celebration, security is high. Visitors are screened with both metal and radiation detectors, and bomb sniffing dogs are on patrol. At the Joint Operations Center in downtown Manhattan, teams monitor hundreds of live cameras for any sign of trouble. Times Square is probably the safest place in New York City on New Year's Eve. As the ball drops, along with the temperature, more than a billion people are expected to tune in from around the world. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, New York. Well, how about this? The 12 foot, 12,000 pound ball is covered in 32,000 LED lights and more than 2,500 panels made by Waterford Crystal. The lights randomly change colors every few minutes to make 16 million different combinations. Rain, strong currents, and rough seas are hampering efforts to find more victims of Air Asia Flight 8501, which crashed in Southeast Asia. The plane was carrying 162 people on board when it plunged into the Java Sea Sunday. It was flying from Indonesia to Singapore. So far, rescuers have recovered several bodies, including a flight attendant in her Air Asia uniform. There are reports that large pieces of the plane have been located on the sea floor. Conditions are expected to be poor through much of the rest of the week, which could further delay the recovery process. From ups and downs in the cupcake business to numerous recalls in the auto industry, we'll take a look back at the top business stories in 2014. That's next in WKYT Money Watch. Follow WKYT online at WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. It looks like we are ending 2014 with another down day on Wall Street. There were losses across the board. The Nasdaq is down more than 41 points, ending the day at 4,735. The Dow down 150 points, and the S&P 500 down also more than 21 points. The unemployment rate went down, and the stock market went up. Hackers struck home, and Taylor Swift took a stand. Jill Wagner has a look back at the year's top business stories. General Motors recalled millions of cars after admitting to a defect with ignition switches. More than 40 deaths have been linked to the flaw, which engineers knew about for years. I am deeply sorry. At least five people have been killed by exploding airbags from the Japanese supplier, Takata. That's led to nearly 20 million vehicle recalls around the world. Uber became a household name. The limo service expanded to 250 cities despite safety concerns and taxi protests around the world. 
It was a bittersweet year in the cupcake business. The Crumbs Bakery chain went bankrupt, then reopened three months later under new ownership. Our old customers are happy. I'll buy Bitcoin. Bitcoin went mainstream as a digital currency, but by the end of the year, it had lost some luster. The value of a Bitcoin dropped from a high of 1,200 into the 300s. Apple introduced the iPhone 6. It's gorgeous. A few weeks later, CEO Tim Cook made history, coming out as the first openly gay chief executive of a Fortune 500 company. Retail giant Home Depot took five months to realize it had been hacked. The company said account information was compromised for 56 million cardholders. More Americans went back to work. This year was the best hiring trend since the 1990s, bringing the unemployment rate down to 5.8 percent. But wages have lagged, increasing by just 2 percent for the year, barely above inflation. Janet Yellen took over as the first woman to head the Federal Reserve, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average touched new highs. The market finished the day in record territory, and Taylor Swift shook up the music industry. After releasing her newest album, the pop star pulled all of her songs off the streaming service Spotify, saying there should be a value on art. Jill Wagner, CBS News, New York. 2014 is almost in the books. Happy New Year for a 2015 big celebration happening at the Liquor Barn. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about today. Looks like Deanne's ready to throw down. Guess my invitation lost in the mail again. Hey, cold conditions not only locally, but across most of the country. We'll show you how that impacts the first week of the new year in weather in just a moment. New Year, guys. We are here at the liquor barn. There you go. Oh, Brad's even getting into it. Everybody. How how can you not be at the liquor barn and not expect a big party, right, Brad Williams? Uh, you can't. That's what we're all about. <laughs> you guys uh, are. This is our time of the year. It's our wheelhouse. New Year's Eve. Well, I was gonna say you party all year round at the liquor we barn, do. but tonight is the night you guys are open until midnight for folks who are throwing together maybe some last-minute celebration. That's right. We've got just about everything they need. Uh, as you've seen, we have the party favors. Uh huh. The ridiculous hats. Yeah, he looks uh, good on you. That's right. We've got, I, I do look good, but um, <laughs> we've got everything you need. We've got packs of craft beer um, at a great price. If you've got craft beer so popular now that yes, you can get a large is. pack for a good price, uh, we have all the sparkling wine you're going to need from Prosecco to Champagne. Uh, don't forget, we have the sparkling apple cider for the children that tend to hang around until midnight. Yeah, or maybe uh, for some, they for do some, like to be don't partake. Feel like an adult for just a little bit. So yes, they you can do. Have a lot of fun with that. Put a little party hat on them and, and give them their own little special glasses. Look normal in this stuff, so this is this is good for them. I don't know. I think you look pretty normal, party guy. Yeah. I, all kinds of party favors, as you mentioned, and food. It probably what we should have started off with because yes. you make sure your tummy is full of this before you fill up That's on right. this. Don't forget the food. <laughs> You gotta have the food. I advise eating first. Um, so we've got a lot of good stuff there as well. We do sandwich trays, vegetable trays. Uh, we've got what I like to call rip and dip. So whether you're doing some good baguettes that you're cutting and slicing with some dips or crackers, uh, it's very easy. And we've got some nice pre-made kind of. Uh, prosciutto and pepperoni rolls with good cheese and, and you know, salami. So it makes it very easy. You just stop in, you grab it, and you go, and you open it, and you're ready. I mean, why would we sit at home and roll all this up and do all the work when we can come to you and you'll have it done for us? Yes, you can spend time doing blowers and drinking champagne instead of prepping. <laughs> yeah, just throw it on a nice tray, which they even have those here as well. Yep. Celebrating New Year's Eve. All right, get it ready for us. Let's do a toast to the new year. Uh, mate, a very blessed 2014. Coming up at uh, 450, by the way, there's this thing called Kentucky Champagne, and we have the recipe for you that you can use tonight at all of your celebrations. Indeed. Thank you, my dear. And we hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's Eve celebration. Drink and uh, don't drive. Drink right? and don't drive. Be Drink. responsible. Stay Hydrate. at home and celebrate. Stay at home. Oh, most importantly, we forgot this. That's right. Hydrate. Water. Lots of hydration. Yes. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers and Happy New Year.
<laughs> you know what our New Year's resolution is going to be to get What's Deanne that? to finally share with us yeah. here Come on, at Deanne. the station. New year, new philosophy. We're, we're going to work on it. Yeah, here's a dry toast to you, Deanne. Well, enjoy everyone if you're going out. <laughs> and stay safe. Absolutely. How many people really stick to their New Year's resolutions? We'll take a look for you next in Better Living. It is time now for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. U.S. researchers say they've identified a gene network linked to autism. Stanford University research researchers say the findings provide a map of some of the crucial protein interactions that contribute to autism. Researchers use gene expression data and genome sequencing to study the whole set of interactions within a cell, and they identified a module comprised of 119 proteins linked to autism genes. Although the exact causes of autism are unclear, researchers are increasingly pointing to genetic mutations as a contributing factor. Children of parents who attempt suicide are five times more likely to also attempt suicide. That is according to a new study in the journal Psychiatry. Researchers say the findings can help target interventions in high-risk families. And only 8% of Americans who make New Year's resolutions actually stay on track. Researchers say people who follow through to lose weight or quit smoking, keep goals simple and specific, and share their plans and progress with others. There may soon be a new way to surf the internet. According to ZDNet, Microsoft is reportedly creating a new lightweight browser codenamed Spartan, which will look and feel more like Chrome and Firefox. And a fast food chain known for its beef sliders has put a veggie burger on the menu. White Castle says customers were asking for a meat alternative. The veggie burger is, quote, chock full of vegetables like carrots, zucchini, and broccoli, and it costs 99 cents. White Castle says it's got raved reviews so far. The chain says a vegan bun is also on the way soon. And it is not exactly what you'd expect to find at Dunkin' Donuts, but the coffee and donut chain is now selling. Pizza bagels. They go by a slightly different name, the Tomato Mozzarella Supreme Bagel. They're only available at select locations and only for a limited time. For more health, education, and consumer news, just log on to WKYT.com and click on Better Living.